Greetings everyone, so Langsor again, and quite of a triggering title, isn't it? Is Last Epoch becoming Diablo 4? Now, we have seen in recent patches that the game has become easier. Well, kinda. First with 1.1 it actually got harder because all the, all the builds got nerfed down, so they are less strong than they were before. Not just the overpowered ones, but all of them. It's uh, because they wanted to set the standard to be 300 corruption. That's sort of what they think of. Everything higher than that is not really wanted, especially not 1k corruption or 4 digit corruption. They have said many times before, the game is not intended to ever go there. And any build that can actually go to 4 digit corruption is either bugged or not working as intended. This is the devs saying that, okay? It's not me, all right? So don't chastise me. This is what they want. They don't want people to go that high, okay? So we saw this. They worked in that direction. Of course, there are still builds that can't do it. And there will always be builds that can't do it. They will always figure out some build that is bugged in some way, especially if they add new builds. But they sort of went with it and it's now 300, it's all 500 is the max for many builds. Some builds can, of course, go higher, but this is sort of what the game is balanced around. Okay, fine. But now we're actually seeing that they made things easier again, right? They nerfed all the enemy um, damages, like the, the mobs got nerfed. It's much easier now to get actually to 300 corruption, like much easier. Like you, you only need this one shade of echo, echo shade thingy, and then you can go straight to 300 corruption. So people are already complaining in the comments and everywhere that the game is becoming too easy. That it's getting too easy to get to the end game. And because they actually want higher corruption. Now, I think personally, tell me what you think of this. I feel like the people who are saying this, that they are the loud minority. I think the majority of players do not care whatsoever about anything higher than 500 corruption, if at all. Personally. Maybe I'm wrong, right? I've been wrong before. <laughs> uh, you, you guys know I was reacted to by Darth Microtransaction, our great DM, and uh, his audience called me out on a video I made about the endgame in Diablo 4 and Last Epoch, for example. So I don't claim to know what is correct, right? It's just from my feeling what people tell me, they don't really care much, most people don't really care much about getting to that high of a corruption, especially because everyone is totally fine, or it is sort of the accepted thing now, they just switch the games each cycle anyway, right? Right now it's Path of Exile. Path of Exile is great right now. Then there's actually when the, this video gets out, it might actually be Diablo 5, or whatever, uh, Diablo 5, Diablo 4. It, like, it's just switch between the games, right? Last Epoch, Diablo 4, Path of Exile, then PoE 2 is coming, Titan Quest 2 is coming. So there's a lot of things you can, you're switching back and forth. When do you actually even ever have time to grind that character to that high of a corruption unless you are a streamer? Most people, I mean, there are some people, of course, who can know live games, but most people, I think, that play these games cannot do that. And it's also something I've noticed recently. People were talking a lot of shit about Diablo 4, that it's too easy and there's no real endgame in it. And I said before, I think this is actually what the target audience for the game is. I think Diablo 4 is designed as sort of the entry-level ARPG very easy to get into it's not too overwhelming in what it can do like path Exa, for example and i think this is also where they want the game to be now of course long term that means people who want to grind i don't know pit forever and actually maximize the builds they are sort of left behind but maybe diablo 4 or even last epoch now is not that game then maybe you guys are better fit for path of Exa. And from what we've seen so far, it looks like Path of Exile 2 might actually also go more into the direction of becoming easier. And because we've already seen this with PoE 1, with lots of quality of life improvements and things making it easier now in the Settlers League for people to play the game, to get into the game. Because all of Melee got buffed, for example, also. Maybe the whole thing is shifting in making these games more... How do I phrase it? even more seasonal than it were before, meaning you really only play this for like a month, then the next season of any other game comes along. So it's not even the intention to have super late endgame that some no-lifers can play. 
or maybe not having not the intention but maybe not caring about it too much anymore that's what it feels like to me so i made before this degeneracy matrix right if you guys remember <laughs> where you have degeneracy and time spent so to speak and d4 is at the beginning right you don't have to spend much time in this game you can just play it casually every now and then and you still have fun then there is last epoch sort of in the middle you can spend some time in it if you want to really like work with builds and even grind higher corruption but it's not as crazy as Pathfinder, for example, where you really have to throw in 2,000 hours to really know the game. Or like 10% of it. <laughs> so that's of the most degenerate no life a game. It's what it is, right? You can, of course, play it casually, but the, the really core of Path of Exile is at the end game. I think. And I think this whole degeneracy matrix is sort of shifting more towards less degeneracy and more casual gameplay. I might be wrong, but that's what it seems like to me. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Has this been your experience as well? Or do you think, no, they're actually putting in enough late game for us in all these games. Um, now, again, Last Epoch has announced until 1.4, there will be even more endgame stuff. They will throw a lot of endgame stuff in the game. So maybe I'm wrong on this. I don't know. But it seems to me that last epoch in like with the changes they've done recently it seems like they are making the game easier more accessible to people easier to get into and this is basically what diablo 4 is doing right and i don't see a problem with that that just brings more people into the genre which i don't think is a bad thing at all you want to have more people playing these games and having fun with them so why not also, Perfect Set 2 is doing the same because they are really focusing on console, like co couch co-op console gameplay with Perfect Set 2. So they won't have the casual players. Is there anyone more casual than you do that plays with friends or like his wife or girlfriend on the couch in an RPG? Is there anything more casual than that? Probably not. So I guess this seems to be sort of what they are, are focusing on. So let me know what you think of it. And... Um, this is sort of, sort of my thoughts, my experience with it, and I will see you guys in the next video.